Guys, Andrea last weekend has greened a portion of the wool where I'm going to rebuild it today. This was the sink seacock. I don't want salt water inside my sink. Also, we're struggling a lot to take off the stanchion pole because they're completely fixed with uh, liquid cement and we're struggling a lot to take off but all the pole they move so they are not uh, safe and not uh, good for water entering here so I prefer to fix any single pole this is the hatch I fix with uh, resin this is just under the cap rail you can see here it's broken I need to glass all here I will use a carbon fiber and Kevlar because Kevlar is very strong including carbon fiber and when you make like this we have no more problem to broken this part this and this one this is the last part of the cap rail I need to repair I think so. It need not too much, but I need to, to use some fiberglass and some um, Kevlar and carbon fiber here. In the meantime, let's start by taking the measurement of the fabric to be cut and then raising it over. This is the best things you can do to get the perfect result. sheet of paper and a marker and you are done. Okay. <laughs> Carbon fiber and Kevlar, fill ply. Tissue. Let's start by cutting the piece of fabric of the exact size. I use matte and biaxial and Kevlar and carbon fiber in the right quantity. I think some mix for maximum strength and the maximum result in my work. I cut the fabric starting from the smallest piece to the largest piece in exact order in which they will be laminated with epoxy resin in the hull of the boat or in the cap rail. Use epoxy resin added with high density filler to get the maximum strength on the fabric. I prepare already the outer layers impregnated with epoxy resin. Here we go! First of all, a beautiful brush stroke of resin to prepare the ground for the various layers of fabric. First of all, a nice plug of marine plywood to close the hole. Essential tool during the work of the lamination is the metal roller. It's really essential to remove the air bubbles trapped inside the layers. Otherwise, if you have bubble air inside, you weaken the work done. Here is the second part of the work. 
cover the diesel tank as it was at the origin. To avoid to laminate it over the diesel tank, I prepared this plate of fiberglass some days before. I cut it in the perfect size to cover perfectly the diesel tank. The only things I will do is to put this plate over the diesel tank and laminate it only the outer edge in the hole inside the board. It's time to laminate under the cap rail. Those parts of the board are very stressed from the years and years of use of the extension. I use this grease spray to avoid that the pole station be trapped with the epoxy resin inside this hole. If you use this grease, the epoxy doesn't stitch on the metal. This is the last part of the cap rail I need to repair. I think uh, it needs not too much, but I need to, to use some fiberglass and some uh, Kevlar and carbon fiber here. I found this gel coat crack inside the engine room, just near the sail drive. To avoid any water entering in this crack, I prefer to repair it with epoxy resin. So I used the Bosch Grow to open the cut and after that I dropped some epoxy resin.
I need to reinforce something just inside the stern locker behind the rudder axis I found some bad fiberglass area I don't like to leave as original so I prefer to use some fiber and epoxy and finish and for finish the last part of the day painting the starboard side with the primer 